Do we really do that? Yes. Oh, cool. So that's not just from the 20s and Charlie <laughs> Chaplin movies. No. Cool. So what's remarkable about this campus is the very favorable student-faculty ratio. So it is part of a very large system of colleges in the state of California, but it has managed to keep a small school atmosphere to an extent that I think is almost unparalleled within the CSU. We have a lot of first-generation students, uh, the first people in their family to actually ever go to college. They're not students that just take for granted that they were just gonna go to college and do this. It actually means a lot to them to actually be going through this experience. So while the average class size is 24, uh, my introductory first year freshman classes range between 96 and 100 students. I need some way to increase their engagement and their accountability, and Top Hat has been great with that. We have students who may be differentially underprepared compared to certain other universities. It's very easy for those students to slip through the cracks and become anonymous to the instructor. I've taken human anatomy, molecular biology, cellular biology, cellular and molecular biology, and I'm in the process of uh, genetics. But one thing I liked about Top Hat, every day in Lorna's class, there's at least three questions. So there's practically a mini quiz every day, and it tells you if you get the answer right or wrong. It gave me the reinforcement I needed to feel prepared for the test versus going to the test unsure if I knew the answer or not. Everybody, even I, start to lose focus. And now, okay, let's bring ourselves back to what was the pivotal point that I was trying to get across in the last 15 minutes? Uh, so it's been great. It's, I, I think, wow, that was a challenging concept. I look out, everybody good? And they invariably nod. And I think, did they get that? But I need to go on. And now with Top Hat, it's like, okay, let's see. The learning experience really happens through making mistakes. A tool like TalkPad allows me to interact with them in ways that I, that I couldn't have done before. When I get a question right, you kind of get like that little rewarded feeling, like, oh, light bulb goes on, oh, I actually know this material. It cements the material, right? It's very easy to passively watch a lecture, glance at the PowerPoint in front of you, maybe make some notes, hopefully, but to work with that material then activates different neural pathways to help put that information into your long-term memory storage. It gives us an opportunity to be more in tune with technology and to test our ability to find specific answers. I really appreciate that part. They see there's a difference and they see a value in different technology, different approaches at things. I find that using a tool like Top Hat gives me the opportunity to reach a lot more students. In the end, that means more students tend to be successful. They pass the courses with better grades and more of them do.